Hello, uh, this is Dr. Mikhail Rashik once again from Mero Genomics, the company that brings you medical DNA testing. However, this video will be another installment about the mRNA vaccines. And today it will be interesting because I actually will talk about it third mRNA vaccine that has um, been developed and it's from a company called CureVac and it's another German company so way to go Germany they developed two mRNA vaccines however the first data that came out with that particular vaccine is that it wasn't actually very effective it had only about 47 percent effectiveness and uh, so it did not reach the same quality that was observed with the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines which had about 95 percent effectiveness and uh, the reason why I wanted to talk about this one is because the article that I read about that particular vaccine also mentioned one of the reasons why it might have failed so spectacularly in comparison to the other vaccines is because of the new variants that uh, that um, with which the people have been infected in a clinical trial indeed when they were testing different variants the vast majority of the of the SARS-CoV-2 virus were the new variants not the original uh, strain that has started the pandemic and uh, they the, that particular article also mentioned uh, how good the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are against the a new um, variants of concern and I actually wanted to mention that, and mention that information as well so um, and because it looks really good actually which uh, for those who might have taken the vaccine this will be very important uh, uh, news and probably uh, some form of relief so the studies that were quoted in that particular article is that um, the Pfizer vaccine showed about 92 percent effectiveness against the alpha strain which is the UK strain there's a new nomenclature nomenclature used by by World Health Organization to uh, denominate these different strains uh, as opposed to approximately 75% effectiveness against beta strains that's the one that has emerged from South Africa and finally 83% uh, effectiveness against the Delta strain which is the one that has emerged from India um, so potentially that's one of the reasons why these, the, the new vaccine from CureVac did not uh, uh, show the same quality. Another reason that they're suspecting is because um, unlike the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines, the mRNA is not um, made uh, with synthetic chemicals the same way that um, the CureVac is, which uses the natural chemicals. So DNA and RNA are made of, from, uh, made of natural chemicals, but one of these chemicals in the RNA is substituted with a specific form of synthetic chemical that makes the mRNA vaccine from Pfizer more stable and therefore potentially why the scientists are suspecting why it was more successful but in reality at the moment it's difficult to pinpoint exactly why one vaccine is doing so much better than than the other um, so uh, another reason why that, that article also mentioned is could have been the dosing of the vaccine and how much actual material, the RNA material is being delivered in a, in a vaccine. And um, the, the article mentioned that when you take the vaccine, you, it results with much greater amount of antibodies than, than what was observed in the clinical trials for the cure back. Uh, and the article also mentioned, I wanted to bring that up, is that um, the similar pattern is observed for those who have been naturally infected with the virus and uh, people who have been infected with the virus um, don't show the same level of antibodies the same way that might be delivered to you once you take the vaccine so that's all the information I wanted to tell you by the way behind me is a beautiful Lake Minnewanka uh, that's near Banff so we have a gorgeous day today so you can uh, appreciate the view and uh, that will be it for today and uh, soon I'll be uh, hoping to making to make another video about um, spike proteins circulating in the blood what does that mean because in my previous video I was mentioning that vaccines might uh, lead to release some of these spike proteins into the blood uh, luckily in a very very low quantity and I wanted to actually study some extra information what does it mean when a person is naturally infected in terms of circulating spike proteins so stay tuned for that if you like this video give us a like subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time bye for now